Nigga fanned up low seven. Who up? You good? I'm alive, I'm beefing. Shot this shit. Who up? Nigga, shot this shit. Who up? Nigga, fuck your head, man. Shot this shit. Who up? Let me ask y'all this. Let me ask y'all this real quick. <clears throat> what happened? What do we do after the protest and and the march and the the NAACP? They they speak and they get the family gets on the podium. And what happens then? What happens after that? It's, it's no, normally that is nothing. Right. You no, understand? No, I'm just yeah, saying. Even from conscious. from Carolina, after the after these these little protests is over in a couple days, no. and you know they just sent in the national guard because them niggas started to turn up last night in Charlotte. Niggas started yeah. to turn up. So what they do? Let me, they they let me brought in a thousand more no. national guards to to stop this shit. Now once the riots and whatever is over. What happens? Because that man is still dead. But see, Danny, but Danny, see, Danny, here, Danny here's the Danny, interesting Danny. thing, and Daylight brought it up. It's consciousness versus nigga shit. I assure you that I would say 80% of the people out there throwing rocks and doing all that shit, they are not conscious. They have no knowledge of self. All they have is bent, bent up right, anger and frustration right. because they black. That, that's what I, I'm I, I saying. See, that's see. what I'm asking. That's what I'm saying. Like, so, what is all so of that so doing? Because that's not doing, doing shit. Because the problem is... Right, because the problem is real conscious people are trying to intellectually organize. All that, all that shit is for show. All but that they shit fight is war. They war. They fight that war. Right, they, they that's fight that war. And it's it's really just a show of force for black people to say, well, My when nigga. you do this to one of ours, we gonna burn this shit up, and well, that's it. That's Three, it. four but days later, my, niggas back at home. Niggas back in like K. Is, niggas back smoking and drinking. My Ain't question shit with changing. Danny was, my question with Danny would be is, yo, Danny, didn't we just have a million man march? What the fuck was that for? Can somebody please tell me? What the <laughs> fuck did millions of niggas go to the middle of the street for? Can somebody tell me? Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. All that shit what, is null and void. That boys. was a bunch of niggas that was like, hey, I'm all the part of the million man march. I'm about to go to the for show. It's all of this for show. All of this for show. Niggas went right back home. But back no, today, it, that's what I'm saying. Even <laughs> even with us, even with us on this phone, we talking about the problem. We just talking. We just on the phone. Nah, fam. That's mm. the thing. I've been what? trying to get. I've been trying. I've been trying to get niggas to organize. That's why we did the Black Money Matter. Cause my thing is all about economics. That's and my what thing, we like need I've been to be saying, doing. Okay, so let's do it. When are we going? When is everybody going to come together and say, you know what? We need to build a yeah, black yeah, let's plan. do it. Fuck Dr. the Reggie. fuck the talking. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying fuck this talking shit because I, I see I'm the. the not, not, I'm saying everybody's fuck. talking. Everybody's talking. Everybody's conscious. Nobody's taking action. And that was the okay, difference between the y'all. Panthers and the niggas of I today. Got I got action for y'all. I'm gonna send y'all all this link called the Black City Plan. It's by a, bro- a brother named Dr. Reggie, and he mapped out a whole way to really take over these cities and really govern ourselves. I'll send y'all all that link. Everybody watch it. It's like two hours. Everybody watch it, take notes, and then we get back on the phone again and build about how to really execute that. Hmm. Nigga, right. there you go. Right there. That's, that's all I'm saying. I'm saying we know what the problem is. Fuck the problem, because mm-hmm. the problem been the problem. Look, and it's going to continue to I'm, be the same problem. We need the fucking answer. And I, I, heard, I heard y'all say, let's move to another city. Let's build this. Let's go here. Let's go here. We just seeing that shit. We gonna, hey, you know what man, I'm saying? We got to do it. That's, that's, when, do. that's when change is going to come. That's when daylight sun is going to be safe. That's when your son is going to be safe. When, when the fathers <laughs> say, let me, let me willing to lose my life to make sure my son don't have to be killed just because he had a, a, a broken tail light. Mm. So, so, uh, so talking ain't, gonna, ain't making our son right, safe. So, right, so, so, Danny, the answer to that is, what are we going to do when we get off this call? That's the real question. What are we doing? when we Are we going to say fuck battle rap? We, 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 need, we that, need to and, hook and up. What the fuck we got to do? Is that what we do? Nah, nah, don't fuck. Yeah, we don't, don't have to. Fuck, don't say fuck that's what I'm we saying. We, don't, we got to really do something. You and we fight though. niggas in don't battle say, rap. Don't say fuck battle rap. Even, don't say fuck bro, battle rap. Use your celebrity that. in battle rap for for hey, for, no, 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 we, for, we, for the greater hey, good. Be that. Be that. You got niggas telling you, man, you better stop talking all of that conscious shit. That shit ain't going to fly over here. I don't give a fuck about them niggas. I don't give a fuck about them niggas. I know you don't care. Right. I know you don't care, but what I'm saying is I'm going back to us fighting that war. I'm going back to us fighting that war. 
Like, like but daylight, like, but daylight. Like, catch this though, bro. But you know, you know what's the greatest thing though? The greatest thing is when I wake up in the morning and I open my Facebook and I got twenty messages from young, little twelve and thirteen year old little black kids asking me, "Yo, you said this in the battle. You said that in the battle. Where can I get that information? What books have you read?" That's the greatest joy. So a hundred niggas could be like, "Fuck me and fuck the preaching shit." As long as little ten, twelve, eleven year olds is hitting me up asking me for information, my job is done. Right. That's why I'm saying, don't say fuck battle rap. Everybody on this phone, me, Danny, Daylight. Everybody should be dropping knowledge in all battles. You feel me? So fuck mm, all right. this shit niggas talking about, oh, while we preaching and doing all this shit. Danny, you are one of the greatest writers in the fucking world. You can gun bar your ass off. But please drop a little bit of knowledge every battle. Mm. That's all I ask. Daylight, you already right. do it. Mm. You already do it. Right. I already do right. it. Right. I just, so I just, that's, that's one thing that we could do. I, you, all right. So, so, the, so the plan is we need to sacrifice my round to talk to my people every goddamn battle then. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Nigga, you sacrifice your round to do all that other stupid shit. You might as well give You're it up to right. people. You're damn That's right. Oh, deep. That's real yeah. shit. That's real mm-hmm. shit, bro. You, and you, and yeah, you have don't... the power to do it. You're probably the most popular nigga on the phone right now. So you have the power to do it. So that's oh, yeah, one answer. It. And the yeah. second answer is to really get off mm. this fucking phone and really look up and research how to really go about governing ourselves and being a nation inside a nation. That's what we really need to be talking about. <laughs> Everything else is just bullshit, bro. All the violence, all the stupid shit, that's just nigga shit, and that's just naturally in, in us instinctually. But we got to approach this shit more intellectually, bro, and really organize and really be on some gra- grassroots, ground-level shit, bro. That's what I'm mm-hmm. about. Yeah, no, I'm still I'm still waiting on the on the battle rap event that has voter registration or you handing out constitutions or, or local laws or what you can and can't do when the police stop. Right, that, yeah, there, there, there yeah. are groups that do Talk this. Them. Invite them out Talk there. That's them. what I'm saying. Like that shit is not that hard to do. You know what I mean? Like Facts. we we gotta we gotta get back to that. And that and right? that's that's some real shit. That's some real that's shit facts. right there. That's facts, bro. Mm-hmm. So, man, but, damn, you know I, mean? I know it's, I know it's real this, we can, we can get daylight, you know, off some and serious shit. All that shit still ain't even set up for us, though. What you mean? Voting, even voting, even voting, the Constitution, voting. Think about it. How Let many of y'all actually going out to vote in uh, uh, November? <laughs> It's a little staticky, a little staticky, whoever. And who whoever and who's is. and who's actually voting though? And does it matter? Mm. That's that's it what don't I, matter. Do you, you know, think it's gonna be a difference matter? if you vote for Hillary or Trump right now? Absolutely not. But you know what would be a difference? If you vote for the mayor well, of your city. If we relocate exactly. to black cities that are governed by black people where the lawyers are black, the police are black, and we vote and we attend to own that. shit. Yeah, that's what we own. Cause, so fuck the presidential election. Look, the government going to be the government no matter what. We had, we had Obama in the office, and he did the same shit. He didn't give a fuck about black people. He stuck his neck out for gay people, but he didn't stick his neck out for black folks. We know that. Well, so Whenever he tried, he got fucking – he got crucified. Every time he even – every time he reminded black, uh, white America that he was a black president, he got fucking – like – they went crazy on facts. him every time. That's facts. Every I time. That so the, that is, that is the first the, – the first black president has to be Jackie Robinson. It has to be silent. Like, Jackie Robinson went through everything. Now, the second yeah. motherfucker, he can say what he wants. But the first one, yeah. he, he has to go after. I'm looking at Obama after he gets out of office. Where is that library going to be in Chicago or Hawaii? That's, okay, that's wait, my wait, question. Wait, 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 wait. The first one was who? I'm just, I, I was saying that the first guy, the first president well, has no, he, to be he, he perfect. Was speaking in, he was just speaking it's in a, metaphor. It's an analogy. Oh, it, yeah, it's an analogy. Like the first black baseball player, yeah, Jackie he's Robinson. Like the so proto, he's like, he, like the prototype. He had to be, yeah, he had to be like that. Like he couldn't be boisterous like Jim Brown and shit. Like he had to be silent. He had to just take, like, now everybody else after him got to be activists and stuff like that. Now that first guy has to damn near be fucking perfect. You understand? Every time you go out there, every time he commits a minor gaffe, crazy. Donald Trump just denied our equivalent of the Holocaust. He just said it's never, ever, ever been worse for black people than right now. Now, shit is fucked up, but it's not that crazy. He, that, that's basically you denying everything that's happened for the last 400 years. Fuck him, and fuck whoever voted for him. And if you white I, and you voting for him, you just can't be my friend. I'm sorry. We good. Like, you actually support him, I'm good. I can't do it. 
I'm sorry. I had to, right. I just had to put that out there. No, that's facts. That's real mm. bro. <laughs> All right, side note. <laughs> nigga like, side, side note. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, let's just be real at this point. Shit. It's just too much shit going on. The shit, the shit, the shit is definitely crazy yeah, right but now. I, I, I forgot. Yeah, I think, I, I mean, I feel like me, they like, be that, I, I think we, we got enough power to put something together for the youth or to provide some type of, even if we got to put our own, we got to, well, first of all, we do have to put our own money into it, which I'm willing to do with, with both of these brothers. I'm willing to put a, a separate pot aside for the specifics of us coming together and, and started practicing group economics rather than talking about it. And you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. B okay. you remember you remember in our battle when I said when I said every nigga in here could put twenty dollars together and mm-hmm. to to build an establishment or a building for our own self, but them mm-hmm. niggas would rather just spend that on weed. Like that was some real That's shit. Right. But I'm saying like we I'm willing to put some money up and, and they like beat out whatever little side money y'all can come up on, well let's put it together. Let's put our money together and really do something and leave something for for the the future. No, that's facts. Mm. Absolutely, bro. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. Man. So I'm yeah, gonna so uh, get with y'all. I'm gonna get with y'all by next week, mm-hmm. and we gonna have to, we gonna have a, a a live meeting. We gonna meet up and go kick it, and we gonna put something together. Cause I all this talking, like I'll be looking at these politicians and, and looking at the so called black leaders on on TV on CNN, and they talking this and that. About oh this brother just got killed. What are we gonna do? We we tired of this shit. Yeah, we tired. We've been tired. But what what are y'all doing? I don't see none of them doing nothing. They all talking, talking. They on CNN with with Wolf Blitzer and all these motherfuckers, and they talking mm-hmm. all this shit. But none of them is doing shit. Yeah, why I, ain't, I can't fuck why with. Why ain't I can't. all the motherfucking rioters? Why ain't all the motherfucking rioters in Charlotte? Why ain't they at that police station demanding the fucking video? Fuck burning down the, the streets and fuck this looting and shit. Go get the mm-hmm. video that the, the chief yeah. of police say he will not release. What what are y'all waiting on? Are y'all trying to doctor the video up to make it seem like he was trying to attack the cop? Because when they asked the, the chief of police, they said, did he point the gun at the cop? He said, well, I didn't see that. So, okay, if you didn't see that in the video... What did you see? Why did he shoot the man then? So the is so the fucking out, video. So they need to go down there and out. get that video. Facts. And, she, and a sister, you know what? There's a, there's a, I think I've seen her, and I think one of them was saying it wasn't even a black dude that shot. One of them was nah, saying it wasn't the even the black dude, the black cop that shot him. Nah, the other okay, thing, I didn't see that a, one. It's a video, but regardless, yeah, it's a video floating around with the sister saying that the black dude shot him, and he had a black the uh, black dude had a black book. They thought it was a gun, but mm. it was a book. Mm-hmm. Yo, but I wanted to okay. ask y'all though, does and, it matter? And, and, does and it if matter? They have the, the body the cam because they said they got the dash cam does it video, matter if it's a black cop? and they have body cam video. No, I'm 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 asking, does it matter? Because now it's gotten to the point where the, where the system is so broken, right? It's so fucked up that even if this man did have a gun, I don't even believe these motherfuckers anymore. Like I don't, I don't even right. care no more because I've seen so many times where right. all I the don't evidence care. That's what I'm was saying. in one place. That's what I'm right. saying. Right. I don't right. give a fuck right. if he did have a gun. If if the chief of police said, "I watched the the dash cam video. He had a gun, but I did not see him pointed at the officer." So if that's the if that's the case, and you just said that on CNN this morning, if that's the case, why was he still murdered? And why mm. won't you release the video? You said you're not going to release the video. Mm. Like, what are y'all hiding? So they need to go. The rioters need to get together and go get that fucking video. Demand Facts. that. Demand that from them motherfuckers. Mm. That's what, that's what I mean. The black leaders, they just talking, talking. Ain't nobody doing shit. Go to the police before, station. Before B dot, like, you admit like, y'all have you a would... right. Y'all have a right to see that. Right, right. Now that's a fact. Y'all, y'all mentioned some organizations and some groups that's out here that's actually out here trying to make a difference. I, I kind of want y'all to shout them out, or maybe if y'all got 
certain literature and things like that that, that people can go back and consult and, and, and things that they could do. You know what I mean? I just want to give you our platform to, to talk about that too. Okay, definitely. Most importantly, my idea, like I said, I'm going I'm to always stick to this premise, and my, my thing is just having – black cities where we govern ourselves and we take care of ourselves and we police and patrol ourselves. And uh, I just tweeted y'all, I just tweeted uh, you and Caps, the, uh, mm-hmm. the video I was talking about. It's by, it's by a brother named Dr. Reggie. Um, his voice is a little annoying, so bear with it. <laughs> but uh, the information, the information is key. So if anybody's interested in that, um, I don't know, hit me up on Twitter or Instagram or whatever, and I'll shoot you the link for y'all to check that out. Um, and, and, and in terms of everything else, I mean, you know, this – there's information out there. It's abundance of information out there. So however you want to go about liberating yourself and trying to understand, um, you know, African history or just what it means to be black in America, those type of things, man, there's all types of literature on that. There's all types of lectures on that. I wouldn't even know where to start in regards to that to, to, to give anybody any, any starting point, any, any information. But uh, what I will say is that in this day of time, at this particular juncture in history, we need to – be about our own people in our own cities. And like I said, I got the link for that. If anybody wants to check it out, I think it's a dope plan. There might be other plans similar to that that might be better. I'm not sure. Somebody could put me up on game. I'm not sure. But uh, Mm -hmm. that's my personal idea of what we need to do as a people. All the violence, all the, the, you know, propagating violence and propagating going out there and trying to be tough guys with the police, man. If anybody out there listening, man, don't do that shit. That's not what's up, man. There's a better way to approach this. There's a more intellectual way to approach this, and we are very intellectual people. People got to remember our history. We, we built civilizations based on intellect, not violence and savagery. That's not in our DNA. That's not our people. So I just want to put that out there. And, uh, yeah, anybody, just hit me up, and, you know, we could build, and I can share information with y'all, and perhaps y'all can share information with me, man. I'm open to it. Definitely. Or Danny? Right, right. Facts. Facts. I just feel, I, I'm, you know, just everything that he just said, I'm with it. You know what I mean? I just feel like we need to educate our own. And as soon as, I feel like when the the Panthers were organizing, you know what I mean, they they were infiltrated. First of all, they were infiltrated, but it it really didn't get that bad until they started putting together their own programs for the kids in the hood. When they started to put together schools, let's say we're going to teach them about nutrition and their own education, that is what scared them motherfuckers. It wasn't the fact that they was like, okay, we're going to protect our own and we got guns. Police like, shit, y'all all got guns. But when they said we finna educate our own, that's when they had to take them motherfuckers out. That, that was, that, that's where it is, the, the mental. And, and I feel like we ain't got back to that. To, to saying let's put our own schools together. Like what Beat Out is preaching, like group economics. Let's put our own schools together, our own hospitals, our own police force, our own major. I'm not preaching, man. That's God what we need it. to be doing. <laughs> well, not, not, you, you know what I mean, not preaching, but what, what's your, mm-hmm. what's your at, you know, no. what you're talking about. I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you get tired of that, that, <laughs> I know you get tired of that preaching stigma. No, I don't even mean it like that, bro. You already know. No, I'm just no, saying I'm that's what we need to be on is just educating our own. And as far as the the, the police, uh, I don't think there is no answer. I think maybe, honestly, we might have to drive. If we're getting pulled over, I think, like, shit, we might as well just drive to the police station. We need to drive to the police station. You need to uh, get on your cell phone. And say, the hey, same, I need hey, you to come uh, meet me here and follow me in and, 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 and film this shit. Hey, hey, man. This, this, see what I'm saying? It's like no matter what, it's no matter what we do, it, we're, we're subject to being killed. Mm-hmm. Subject to being killed if you're black, if you're pulled over. Whether you're handcuffed, mm-hmm. whether your hands are up. Whether you got all your what license, like, all your registration, everything is good, you're you're still liable to be killed. I feel like we you gotta go somewhere where there's a bunch of witnesses. Somewhere where some light. They pull your mm. ass over right there on a the, on a block and you and you just get out or whatever and whatever happened to you, it's like l- let it be some witnesses around. Mm. Okay. Other than that, we don't have too many options. I mean, honestly, we don't have too many options at all. We let me say there, this one. Let me, let me you say know this. what it is? It's like it's 50-50 now. It's 50-50. I get pulled over. 
I might die, I might not. That's all it is now, and that's fucked up that we done came to that point. Let me give you. Let me and give this you shit is crazy. I mean, this is back to back. You remember who died? At, okay, it was Alton Sterling, and then it was uh, Philando Castillo, right? That was like the next day, right? And right. now look what happened. Oklahoma and Carolina happened the same fucking day. It was like morning and then night. They they not even spacing it out no more. They killing like two niggas per day. Mm. Yeah. Per day. Facts. <clears throat> this shit ain't even like wanted, isolated incidents no more. I wanted to say like in, in the future, if now we go were ahead, to bro. actually establish um, what we're talking about in terms of uh, black cities and things of that nature, what would happen is my idea would be that you would have gangbangers or whoever, people of that nature, let's just say warriors, right, of that nature that's willing to put in the work if need be, you would have these people, you know, paid to, to patrol the communities. And perhaps we could have, like, I mean, it's all kind of technology, so perhaps we could have, like, an app or something, I don't know, something to where when you get pulled over, you can indicate to the nearest, you know, warriors in, in the community that right. you know, I'm pulled over on such and such. Right, street. like a distress um, I, I signal, a bad signal. That's like, hey, nigga, no yeah. fucking idea. You know what I'm saying? That's like, fire. And so you got... You know what I'm saying? So, like, so you put out the call or whatever, and then they just show up. And I'm not saying show up aggressively and da-da-da. Just show up like, yo, we here, and you got to give mm-hmm. my man a ticket. Give my man a ticket. Tell me. And, be, and, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? If you try to do anything else, you know, we're going to protect our man, and that's what we're going to continue to do. So that would be the ideal situation that I'm kind of talking about. So I don't want to just throw out ideas out there without being really, really, you know, definitive in what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, and that would right. be. But I would do that. I would if 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 that if we had black cities, I, I, black I, I cities do. that were ran well economically, <laughs> I would do that. As long as I was able to make enough money to provide for my family, I would be out there front line and patrolling the cities all day. I would have no problem doing that. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we got to build this shit from the ground up economically and take over these cities to where we. We got to start now, and we like got to start now. <clears throat> Facts. We have to start that Man. now, but that that those ideas are definitely years off. I say, in the meanwhile, who's ever elected president, I feel like they with the police reform. This is what they need to do. When a black person is pulled over, they can. I don't feel like they should be able to act until their sergeants and their superiors are on the scene. You know, it's like the mm-hmm. same way if you got if somebody count money in the bank. They got to have a superior over watching them count this money be, and, and then have it verified. Because now, like the police, they're not being policed themselves. They, they, they right. freelance. It's Wild West right. out here. They can do whatever they want to do and say and write it up however they want to write it up. So they're right. going to continue to act this way if they don't have anybody overlooking them. You know what I mean? Right. That's why right. now you have the Department of Justice and the FBI saying, "Oh, we got to investigate. We got to investigate these murders because we can't rely on the local police department to inve- investigate their own murders. We can't. Mm-hmm. We can't That's depend right. on them. So now you got the Department of Justice and the FBI looking into this shit now because we. And that's one thing I will say we made progress is by us uh, causing all this 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 uh, over these murders over the last. What five six years? Now they're starting to bring in the Department of Justice because first it was just the the local police office would would handle it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they would do whatever fuck they want to do because ain't nobody overlooking what they're doing. So now you got somebody coming in to look over what they're talking about. So that is one thing. But I, I feel like they need to take it a step further and and not deal with black people one on one no more. No more. I think that's the immediate answer for right now. That's the immediate thing. We we need them to have somebody looking over them while they're handling us. Hmm. And maybe even hmm. somebody watching that person. You know what I mean? That's that's the immediate answer for any other, whether it's Hillary or Donald, that's what they need to implement. Not this stop and frisk shit. Not this, oh, let's, we need to build a better... Uh, between the communities and the police. No. Hmm. Fuck you mean? I don't see no black people talking to no cops and the police ain't coming <laughs> to the hood to come talk and build with us. They not mm-hmm. coming to do that. That's not what they're paid to do. 
after yeah. the Dallas shootings, you've seen, you've seen all the police chiefs saying, oh, we just need a better dialogue with the communities. No, that's not the answer. Y'all motherfuckers is killing us. Ain't no talking. Y'all need to be watched. Y'all need to be watched. Somebody has to police the police now. And until they implement that, the murders will continue. In the meanwhile, hey. we need to be working on getting our own shit together so we don't be having to rely on somebody else to keep us alive. But how do you get all the states together, though, under one umbrella? It all, Like they said, it all starts with us coming together, the blacks coming together. Just like, like they said, all the other nationalities are together, the Jews and the Asians, they all together. You don't see all them getting murdered. It's only it's only us. It's only us getting killed. That's that's why it's so obvious. I can see if every nationality was being murdered by the cops on a daily, two and three at a time. It's just us. So now it's like, okay, this shit is so obvious. Y'all only killing blacks. And y'all talking about the solution is we just need a, a better relationship with the police. We weren't we weren't fucking with them. We ain't fucking with the police. We not just randomly killing him. What do you mean? We we need a better relationship. They need to stop fucking with us. But they not. Because like I said, it's, it's deeply embedded from racism. So since mm. that is the problem, anytime they come into contact with a black person, they need to be overlooked while handling us. Whether we in the wrong, whether we wrong or right. Y'all need somebody over overwatching y'all. I don't. I don't mind going to jail if I'm wrong. Take me to jail, but you. I need somebody here watching you handcuff me. I need y'all to follow this cop car to the to the police station when they drop me off. Cause you ain't finna just go take me and do something to me like they did old boy in Baltimore, Freddie Gray. And they just put him in the back of the van and he wound up dead. Man, That's the answer. That That's crazy. the immediate answer. The long, the mm-hmm. long term answer is us getting our own shit together. Hmm. Man, I don't know. Yo, that man. shit is real, bro. That shit is real. It, 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 and it, and it's the the crazy part about it is, man, is that it's just been generational at this point. It's so ingrained for people to just reflexively be scared of people assigned to serve and protect. And reflexively, people have been taught that if you're big and you're black, you're dangerous. I'll never understand how that man from 5,000 feet in the air could tell that this man was on drugs and a bad dude. Like I just I can't get into so the head crazy. of anybody who would ever think that. You know what I mean? And and, and no, I mean I, I I've got a, I work at a corporate place. You know what I'm saying? And I feel funny walking in there sometimes. Like I'm not gonna front, and I'm I'm I deserve to be there. You know what I mean? Like, why I got to question where I'm at, and I'm always confronted by me being a black man in America. And I think the more people understand that, the better off we'd be. But, man, I salute y'all, man. Like, this has been a good, you know what I mean, conversation in terms of uh, in terms of what y'all been saying. And I think a lot of people are going to take this and, and, and run with it. But, you know, I'm with the solutions, man. And I think at this point we're ready for that. You got to try it. Give it a shot, man. It ain't going to try gonna at least. It, shit, it ain't going to always yield 100% results, and you ain't going to get the massive rally and go viral every time, but you got to fucking start somewhere, man. You got to start and somewhere. Got to fucking start yeah. somewhere because, uh, like I said, we already know what the problem is. That's all we ever do is talk about the problems. Oh, it's racism. We're, we're being unjustly treated. We're being uh, targeted. We know that. <laughs> That's how we started off this damn country. We started off under those circumstances. So we, we know what the problem is. Now it's time to, to get to the solutions. And mm-hmm. I feel like once the Black Panthers started to, to get their own shit together, that's when they took them out. And we ain't got back on track since then. Shot this shit. Shot this shit. Shot this shit. Shot this shit.